welcome to Dunfermline Athletic. How does it feel to be here at KDM Group East End Park and be a Pars player? No, I'm delighted to be here. You know, glad it's got over the line and you know, come play some football. You know, it's been a frustrating season for myself. You know, getting injury, been out for two and a half, three months, and you know, I've not had many injuries in my career, and you know, it's been a difficult time. You know, especially the age I'm at when I, when James texted me and asked me if I fancy that, you know, I jumped at the chance and I said it was a hard decision, me leaving Dundee for being there so long, but I felt it was the right move for this point in my career and obviously looking back, you know, it was a hard decision, but I think it'll be the right decision in the end and obviously I've got to say a massive thank you to everybody connected with Dundee because, you know, it was a great 10 years and you know, I've met some lovely people that I'll, you know, that I'll be friends for life with, and now it's a new chapter, and hopefully it can be a successful one. <clears throat> you mentioned the manager there. I know that you've managed, uh, been managed <coughs> under him, and he's played with you as well. So, um, you've got that kind of relationship already in place. So, did that make it easier to come here, knowing that you could hit the ground running? Yeah, of course. I know the way he works, and. Look, people probably think, look at it, oh, he's, he's, he, people know that I'm close with James, and but it, it doesn't matter, do you know what I mean? He doesn't care. Like, when James was a manager at Dundee, he probably, he probably dropped me more than my career than any other manager at Dundee, so he he's no scared, doesn't care who you are or what you've done or anything like that in the game. If you're not doing it for him in the pitch or, you know, in training, he, he's not scared to drop you, and that's what I, that's what I love about it. And, he doesn't, you know, do any favours. You've got to be working hard to get in this team. And, you know, I worked with him for a couple of years as a manager and, you know, I really enjoyed it. And we got promoted. It was a great time. And, you know, he's doing great things here. I look out for the results every time. Watched a few of the games. And, you know, he's, he's got a good young squad here. And he's, I see his side. He's, what about a bring it? a bit of experience in and hopefully I can help bring three younger ones on as well because it is quite a young squad, you know, they're top of the league, they're doing great. I, I spoke to the manager after the first session, it was quite a tough session and, you know, a few boys really surprised and that's what, just need to go out there with a fear and just, they're top of the league for a reason, you know, they're, they're a good side, yeah, they're going to have blips, you know, with a few games coming and that's just natural, do you know what I mean, and they're a young squad and, they're going to make mistakes, and it's just about just go out and express yourself. You know, they've, they've got some, some fantastic young players who can really push this club on. And you know, I'm here. I'll help out as much as I can. And I like to think that you know, that there's a lot of the you know, people say that comes with me that you know, they all feels all that stuff. But if people that work with me know what I'm about, that's why he's brought me here. Do you know what I mean? He's not bringing me here off of the just, oh, he's, he knows what I can do, what I can bring to the team, you know, like we got promoted with Dundee when nobody gave us a, a chance, you know, we've got a massive chance here, you know, bring a calmness to the, the, the team, you know, create chances for the strikers, you know, and help the younger ones out, you know, like, I think it's missing and it was ed evident that at Dundee as well, like you're not enough speakers in the like, in the teams helping each other out. Like it, it makes it so much easier just telling your your teammate to turn or a man on, or you know. But it seems to they're not enough of them. Do you know what I mean? And it, it seems as like a dying breed. And you know, I just what I see like the way I train and the way I play, I just want to win. And you know, yeah. I, I look as if I'm I'm getting on people and but I'm just that's just my character you know I'll give everything for the club you know and that's what I hope they they'll, they'll see in me and you know I'm looking forward to it because I know like Dunfermline are a big club and we all know they should be the higher than what they are but it's, it's just football do you know what I mean they've got a big fan base and I just hope that you know they can take to me and just. Ex Hopefully I can I can do them justice and prove that on the pitch we're performing well. You have went down to, to Dumfries plenty of times before in your career, so you'll know how tough a game's expected this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. No difficult 
Difficult side to play against. I think playing on the Astro, you know, makes it always that wee bit difficult. And it's one that, you know, it's, it's going to be a tricky one. We need to be at it. You know, we've been working on how to break them down. And I, to be honest, I've not seen any of them wait since Marvin Bartley's took over. So I couldn't really tell you much about him. But we always know it's going to be a tough, a tough game down there. And as I say, look, I watched the game Saturday. You know, I felt you know, we were good in large parts of the game. And if we carry that on, you know, and get our you know, get our players that like to play football, the higher the, the attacking players on the ball and go and hurt them because like, you get them on the ball and get them running at teams, they'll not be able to live with them and that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do more, you know. Try and play through the lines, try and get the players on, like the boy Chris Mockery getting on, turning, getting at people, you know. It's that's what we need to do. Get them running at the defenders and hopefully that's what we can do on Saturday.